And this is a speckled wood butterfly. My first butterfly. These narrow little roads can be a bit dangerous to walk on sometimes. You have to be kind of careful. This is hawthorn. And the hawthorn and the blackthorn are similar, but the hawthorn's flowers come out after the leaves. Blackthorn gets its flowers first on the black kind of sticks. That's hawthorn, which is a sacred tree in Ireland. Now, this is sweetbriar, and uh, this comes out in spring, in late spring, and here we are in late spring. And it's a rose, this is the original rose, see it's big rose flowers, this is the native, the wild one. Beautiful, and it grows, has quite vicious horns, but, uh, and these point backwards, but oh, it's beautiful. We can see just just like that pink against the hedgerow. And all along the hedgerow here you can see wild carrot, which is also known as Queen Anne's lace. And I'm not sure which of the, the English Queen Anne's that they call it after, but wild carrot is probably the better. It's quite tall as well. See? Tall plant, beautiful though. Lovely, actually has a slight scent. There are lots of goldfinches singing as we're going along here. I'm seeing another green veined white butterfly, which is easily told because if you see the underside of the wings, it has uh, green veins that are very prominent. And uh, this is my notebook, and uh, I started using it last year, but I'm using it for different years. And basically, what I'm doing is a little pencil tied to the top of it. I write in the date, t temperature, sunlight, and uh, wind, and then the time, and then which section I'm on. And this is the first Bodleia that appears in the spring, and I always see it down this road that it's globular, glob globulous. See a honeybee on it. Lovely plant, honeybees all over. First to come out and the first to go. That's a Carter bee. Really beautiful. So up there you can see section two, the end. So that's I broke the transect that I do, which is this road here, the sea road, in in uh, Newcastle in County Wicklow and I broke it into three. The top bit is sort of a mixture of houses, gardens and housing estates that are running along the river. I walk on the sunny side, stay to the same side, because your transect has to be two and a half meters. It's like you're at the back of a little box and the box is five meters high, five meters ahead of you. Two and a half meters on either side of you from the middle of your body. And any butterfly that comes into that, you count. Anything that doesn't, you don't count. Uh, which can be difficult, but actually it's a lot of two and a half meters is a long way But I stay on the sunny side Which is uh, I'm heading east So or southeast in fact, so the sunny side is on my left. I broke the section the Transect up into three sections the top section is where there's a few housing estates and gardens quite close together the second section which is usually pretty good is a mixture of uh, a few fields with house, uh, which uh, big gardens around them and orchards and things like that. More old style, like you, you would have got uh, here years ago, further away from the village. And then the third section where I am now, it's fields on both sides and bog on both sides and a nature reserve on, on one side. But there is a new house which has appeared in this section as the first house that has appeared in the section. So that will probably have an influence on the kind of butterflies I start to see, if they do anything with their garden. At the moment it's just a house standing in what used to be a field. But, uh, 
So things are going to change over the years, but the idea is to map the changes. And this transect, I've been doing it since 2008, and things are changing, but things can change fast and slow, so you don't know. But this hasn't really changed too much. It's pretty much the same, but we're trying to map to see what kind of butterflies, because butterflies are like the canary in the mine. They tell you what's happening. Like uh, if butterflies appear or disappear. Comma butterflies used to be found well, we did find them years ago, but not in the numbers we find them now. Now they've gone very common, and they seem to be pushing north. They prefer warmer weather, so we're seeing them quite early. But it could be also that people aren't doing the same things with their gardens they used to do. So the comma is actually uh, doing very well. It's, it's uh, coming back, uh, but we'll see. Now, this is something really beautiful. Two small bluets, and they're absolutely tiny, but they're mating. Well, it's nice and breezy down here to see. Too breezy probably to talk. But this is where my transect ends, and I go all the way down to the sea. 